Hello, welcome to the interactive constructive platform for managing online language schools and creating and running courses for teachers. If you are the teacher who is tired of PPT and PDF textbooks, then our platform is a perfect solution for you. To start the using platform, you need to sign in. First, you need to create an account. Go to the main page, you click sign in. Registration is available in three ways via Google account, via Facebook, via link. You will receive an authorization link by email. After signing up, the dashboard button will appear in front of you. You need to click on to get the access to your courses. After clicking the button, you will see three buttons on the left. Explore, Courses and Start Classroom. Explore will give you the access to public courses of other teachers. In the Course tab, you will see your lessons. And by clicking the Start Classroom button, you will start the interactive lesson. On our platform, you can use courses of other teachers or create your ones. How to use the ready-made courses of other teachers? In order to use the public courses of other teachers, you need to go to the main page, click Dashboard button, and then click Explore button on your left. A gallery of courses will appear in front of you. How to create your own course? To create your own course, you need to click to the Dashboard button from the main page, and then you have to click to the button called Courses on your left. You will see the button New Course. After clicking the New Course button, you will need to give the course name and description. This will help other teachers get information about your public course. Be attentive. The name mustn't be shorter than 8 symbols and the description mustn't be shorter than 40 symbols. In the language tab, you will need to select the language being taught and decide if your course is going to be private or not. For this, you have the private lever. Pay attention to the private lever. It determines access to your course. Only you have the access to your private courses. Otherwise, any other teacher can see it. Congratulations, you've created your own course. Now you have to move on to create your own lessons. To add a new lesson in your course to the editor, you will need to click on the Add Lesson button in the left corner next to the Explore label. This way, you will create a new lesson. Every new lesson has the ability to add a screen. To create a new screen, you just need to press the Add Screen button. Courses include lessons. Lessons include screens. The screen and the lesson should be given names. This will provide more comfortable search for the student and for the teacher. And this will help you to structuralize your lesson. Enter the data and click Save. Our editor has a lot of features. Let me tell you about it. The editor includes many options to design in your lesson. Styling the text, highlighting, changing the size of the text, changing the color of the text, adding images, adding content from YouTube, SoundCloud and any other platforms. To get started in the editor, you need to press New Lesson and then New Screen to give a name to the screen, at starting, creating and personalizing your lesson. After that, you can add any text to your screen using one of four sizes. Title, subtitle, heading, body. You can also make your text bold, italic, style, throat and highlight. This will make your teaching material more comfortable to read. The editor has the ability to choose the color of the text. We have eight of most pleasant colors for learning. You can also put the text on the left, right and center. The editor offers the possibility of numbering the text as well as editing the text as a quote. In addition to text, you can add images to the platform as well as pictures from your computer, videos via links from the YouTube library and audio from the SoundCloud library. We all video also have a lot of interactive exercises that can help you your students to learn. Let me tell you about our interactive exercises. In the editor, in the light corner, you will see the plus sign. You have to click on it. There you will see the tasks column. They are interactive exercises that will help you to make your lesson funnier. Our editor offers you a selection of six kinds of exercises. True, false, world order, input text, select task, matching task and text 
task. Let's make a closer look to each exercise. True false exercise. In the editor, we type the text we need. For example, it can be a sentence in a foreign language to practice a rule you've just learned. And press true false and the button is added next to the offered sentence. You need to select true or false. World order. Click on the world order button. In the box, you need to write down the sentence. The platform will automatically shuffle the words from the sentence and during the lesson, your student will all you need to put them into the correct order by pressing on each word. Input text. The exercise allows you to put required text or words. How it can be used? For example, to check vocabulary. Write a description of the word next to it. Select the input text key in the answer box. Into the correct option. If the student needs a hint in the translation video, you can add it by entering in the initial text tab. During the lesson, the initial text will be displayed in the pale font of the key itself. Select task. This is an exercise that can allow you to select from different options. How it can be used? For example, you just make your student to learn a grammar. Then you can make your student to choose the correct form. Matching task. This is the exercise that allows you to match the text or words. How you can use it? It can be used as a matching exercise with a word and translation, with a word and its synonym, with a word and its antonym. By clicking on the matching task button, in one space we write the necessary word and in the second column is Antonio. At the lesson, the student will have to match the words randomly mixed by our platform. We also have additional editor features. They are teachers, text and layers. Let's take a closer look at those. Teacher text. By clicking on this button, you can write any information that will be seen by the teacher and won't be seen by the student. It can be a lesson plan, correct answers, any notes for another teacher that's going to use your course and any other information. Layers is the ability to create tablets for the lesson. You can use them for explaining grammar rule or for creating exercises. How to start a lesson? Now you have a created lesson, but how to start it? To start the lesson on the platform, from the main page you have to click dashboard button and after that on the left you will see start classroom button. Click on it. Then you have to choose the course you're going to teach. And on the top of the page, you will see a button, invite. This button will give you a link that you must send to your student. All actions during the lesson are synchronized between all its participants. Thank you very much for watching. Goodbye.